Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, it's me, GenoMaster98, back again with another Star Wars figure review. In today's Star Wars figure review, we're going to be taking a look now at another Vintage Collection 2 pack from the Vintage Collection line. Now in today's Star Wars figure review, we're going to be taking a look at the two main characters that appear in the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show. Now the characters we are going to take a look at today are these ones. It is Darth Vader. And the other character we're going to take a look at is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now as you can see, these figures represent the final showdown of these two characters dueling. Obviously I'll just get Vader and Kenobi and obviously just put them alongside one another. Obviously these characters are obviously in their element in terms of obviously the final showdown in the Kenobi series. Obviously where they're fighting on that planet and obviously Vader sustains some heavy damage in terms of his chest plate, his helmet and the back part of his back. Really nice sculpted detail on both figures in terms of obviously Vader's uh, damages that he was uh, caused to him and everything with rocks and the saber hilt being hit and obviously the lightsaber cutting his mask there as well. In terms of the Kenobi figure, really nice likeness to Ewan McGregor. Obviously I've reviewed a previous version of Kenobi's figure from the Kenobi TV show. I'm still not a fan of the lightsaber I must say. I think it's a little bit slim in terms of what you're getting. You think some of the old school Kenobi figures we've had from Revenge of the Sith especially where the lightsaber's been a little bit uh, thicker. But it is what it is. I think in terms of the lightness and obviously the feel of the figure is nicely done. But I'm still not sold on that lightsaber. So these are the two figures we're going to be taking a look at in today's review. Before we take a look at these figures, I'm going to show you the packaging that comes with this figure. As you see, or figures I should say, as you see, obviously like with the previous review, the two pack I've done, you've obviously got the main packaging for this set. So you've obviously got the Kenobi TV name at the top, obviously images of the character in action, and obviously at the front it's got Obi-Wan Kenobi Showdown Darth Vader Jewels End. And obviously it's depicting the scene in the last episode of Kenobi. You've got some artwork on the side there of Vader, which is nicely done. And on the other side of General Kenobi. And on the back you've obviously got larger images and legal stuff of the figures. And like with the previous one I gave you a look at, two pack, you obviously can open it up and obviously display the packaging of both figures inside so obviously you can secure it tightly and stop them getting damaged which is nicely done so obviously that's the main part of the packaging the big set or the big part the other packaging is obviously the cards we'll take a look at them individually obviously you've got the vader card obi-wan kenobi image of vader in action there it would have been really cool if you they did a close-up shot of uh, hayden christensen's face where obviously the mask is cut and obviously you've got the name, the legal stuff going on on the back as well. And obviously the plastic bubble and the Kenner that obviously protects the figure. Turn the packaging around, you've obviously got the other figures that appear in the way of the Styles logo. And as I said, that legal stuff at the bottom as well. And the back. So that's Vader's packaging. Moving on to Obi-Wan. Obviously you've got Obi-Wan in action there. Beautiful shot of Ewan in action. Old Ewan McGregor. Name of the, obviously the series, name of the character, the Kenner logo, and obviously his plastic prison that protects him. Protects him, I should say. Star Wars logo at the back, legal stuff, and obviously the other figures in the wave as well. So that's pretty much it for packaging. I'm going to take a look at these characters in more detail. We'll start off with Darth Vader and then working on to Obi Wan Kenobi. I have to say, I was really impressed with the Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, TV show version of Vader that they released but this one is even better in terms of what you're getting obviously this is Vader's uh, damage that he sustained on that planet really nicely done on Hasbro's behalf in terms of obviously the damage cloak at the back the cut helmet and obviously the damage chest plate which is nicely done articulation wise he does come with movement on the top of the head shoulders, elbows and the wrists torso is movable, movement in the legs, knees and ankles Obviously he does come with his red lightsaber there, which is nicely done. Really nice shade of red. 
and obviously he does come with a unlit version of the Sabre. I'll just give you a zoom in to show you all the major details on this figure. So I'll start off at the back first. Obviously you've got the cloak, which is slightly large, but obviously you've got some damage on the cloak there in terms of rip. rips going on in terms of obviously his battle damage. You've obviously got the little hole at the back there where obviously Vader gets cut on the back by Kenobi. So you can see a hole there. And if I move the figure around, you've obviously got his legs and boots, obviously a large cloak there. And obviously you've got his iconic chest piece with everything going on. And obviously you've got the damaged part there that he obviously hit with the butt of the lightsaber. And obviously the main part is obviously you've got that beautiful, beautiful sculpt of Anakin Skull underneath. Look at the paint in terms of sort of like the edging around where the helmet's been damaged. Got really, really cool bit going on there. Obviously you've got the half mask and obviously it's very similar to the appearance of him in Star Wars Rebels where obviously he is fighting against Ahsoka but look at that, that is fantastic. Even the damage on the top part of Anakin's head or Vader's head as he is obviously transformed into the Dark Lord of the Sith. Fantastic detail going on. I just love the, the texture in terms of obviously even a little bit of uh, cuts and the damage around the helmet where it's obviously been uh, sliced is fantastic really nicely done on Hasbro's behalf but that head sculpt just going to move it a little bit closer to the camera and obviously try and not move me hand as well but and try and keep it still but look at that that's fantastic on Hasbro's behalf obviously you've got the iconic look and everything but obviously that is fantastic and obviously the half helmet is brilliant as well but that is a massive selling point on Hasbro's behalf, fantastic. And I really like this version of Vader. Obviously it's a damaged version, like with the other version I reviewed, but this version is really, really good. And obviously it looks cool alongside Obi-Wan as well. But that, that's the selling point. Fantastic job on Hasbro's behalf. And overall, a really nice version of Vader. Obviously some people may, may complain that the cloak is massive, it is what it is, but I'm not complaining. That's the selling point there. That part of the head, really nicely done on Hasbro's behalf. So that's Darth Vader. We'll take a look at him towards the end of the review again. Next up, we're gonna be taking a look at Obi-Wan. As you see, Obi-Wan does come with articulation at the top of the head, shoulders, elbows, and the wrist. Torso is movable, movement in the legs, movement in the knees, and movement in the ankles. Obviously he does come with a couple of accessories, he does come with a blaster pistol, which I've placed in this hand, obviously you've got the holster at the side there. Does come with an unlit lightsaber on the back, which I've put in the peg hole there. And obviously the main part, he does come with his signature lightsaber there. As I said before, and I'll say it again, not a massive fan of the lightsaber sculpt. I think it's a little bit too slim and skinny for my eyes, and I like to have it a little bit thicker in terms of obviously uh, with the figure and obviously with the posability, but it is what it is. Give you zoom in on the overall detail. Obviously the lightness to you, McGregor is fantastic. You've obviously got the long hair and the long beard, sculpted nicely on the face and on top of the head. You've also got the Jedi robe, which is a slightly darker color, sort of like a gray with elements of brown and stuff going on there towards the feet and the trousers. Obviously you've got the blaster pistol there, the lightness to Ewan, which is really cool, old Ewan McGregor. The lightsaber there, really nicely done, but just a little bit too slim in my eyes. The unlit saber at the back, the belt, and obviously moving down to the feet as well but it's a really cool figure. And obviously the showdown on that planet was really cool. Obviously seeing Anakin and Obi-Wan in a different limelight, obviously sharing emotion on the screen. Obviously him mentioning that Anakin is gone, I am what remains, and obviously Obi-Wan opening up and obviously apologizing to what went on, but obviously Vader is enraged and obviously wants revenge. And obviously there's damage between both parties in terms of obviously Vader getting damaged there and obviously Obi-Wan being burnt but in terms of the figures really plays with it you can reenact the scene 
on that planet in the season finale of the Kenobi TV show. But overall, I'm very impressed with these figures and uh, I highly recommend them if you want to get them, especially the Vader. Like I said, that selling point there of the helmet, slice, and obviously Ewan McGregor's likeness to his figure. So that's pretty much it for Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'll be back with many more Star Wars reviews very soon. Be sure to obviously subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I will see you on the next review. So be sure to obviously subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll see you soon. So take care, look after yourself, and as always, may the force be with you.